This time on Vice Grip Garage, Tony Angelo and I almost win 2.4 hours of the mullets and then I bury the Crown Vic and blow it up on nitrous. Perfect. Hey fellers and fellas, we've got a big deal going on right now at vicegripgarage.com and an even bigger giveaway. Right now if you go to vicegripgarage.com and pick up anything, you can get 10% off and there's no limit on that. Plus, anything you purchase at vicegripgarage.com is going to get you entered for a chance to win one of two of Independent Chevelle's last burnout wheels. That's right, this is one of two wheels that was on at the Freedom Factory when we just took second place there at the Burnout Rivals. So, Go get yourself something from vicegripgarage.com. Use the code Black Friday to get 10% off and enter yourself for a chance to win one of these wheels right here. This coffee's good. I made it. Here at the Freedom Factory in Brayden, Florida, for Cletus and Cars and the 2.4 hours of the mullets. This time, my partner is the legendary Tony Angelo. As you can see behind me, we've got the Independent Chevelle and Surprise, the Pontiac GTO owned by the veteran. As you fellers and fellas may or may not know, this is the Independent Chevelle's last burnout competition. Yep, gonna go ahead and retire it from the burnout pit after this competition right here it's it's an exciting day also kind of somber a little bit sad but it doesn't owe us nothing at this point i've got it pretty straightened out it's a good shape but listen we went to get it loaded up on the trailer everything was perfect on the car spent a lot of time going through it power steering pump said nope i'm done just completely checked out on me so thankfully drew stepped in I gave him a call on the way down and he says, I got you covered. So he went and picked the pump up for me. As you can see, he is very comfortable right now working on it. Let's go check in. Oh, I need your dad's strength. Uh oh. What are we doing here? We're uh, putting a little power steering pump on the old Chevelle here, and that runs right into the side of the box, power steering box. Perfect. So that's fantastic. Here's the issue, fellas. Well, the old pump, as you know, just said nope. So this one exits to the right into this magic box that has stuff in it the old one went backwards so i guess i could be the vice you could yeah. pull maybe uh, you got to put your dad's strength on that <laughs> all right dad's strength came through got to push back he's going to bring her in from the bottom looks like garrett's testing the burnout pad out and i don't know what that's called raptor no trx no I don't know. It's the fancy for it. But anyway, look at this now when it comes in. That's what we needed. See how that line is going back? Perfect. It's a Type 2 GM pump. Good thing is a pump. You can find them anywhere. But the fittings are, I guess, different. I didn't know that. But Our plans got a little wonky on the way down. But surprise, the Pontiac GTO is here as well made the 800 mile trip if you want to see that it's a different video just go search the playlist for gto you can watch the last minute thrash on this thing and the trip down here to florida look at this this is australian as it gets you got a really long tip in narrow and then you got more of the traditional box over here very similar a lot more technique it's going to be great it's going to be nice to see who gets their cars down in here if you want to win, that's that's the way to get the points. So look at this, bleacher's already filling in, gates just opened. It's gonna be another great event down here. Yeah, that was a little fun. Yeah, it's actually, it's, it's perfect. They're doing the pump 
So I think that's the last thing we needed to do. I just didn't want to go out without power steering because the tip in, I mean, it, you'd have to be muscling the wheel to try to even get it to whip. So line lock's good, oil's good, trans is good, rear, the crane. One final run on the 10 bolt. This was the last piece, so now we are ready for the final burn on top Big thanks to Drew, he's done a lot of the wrenching on this thing. Hey, I'm just trying to help out any way I can. Yeah. Cool. Hey, give me a thumbs up. He saved it. <laughs> How's it feel? You want to take it for a rip? Not yet? Okay. Open burnout comp going on. Pad is really gripped up in there. There's been, uh, for the first time here, there's been 12 or 13 cars, trucks, things going into the pit that haven't popped the tires. It's really, really, really gripped up right now which we don't have to worry about. We got the HPs and the horse torques, but that gives us a, a little bit of an advantage on the tip end because it's a little bit more grippy. You're not gonna slide as much. I'm just trying to take a couple notes here and watch these guys. I love this class. It's just a bunch of folks just coming out sending in. Some of them are in their daily driver. It's a lot of fun for sure. We're uh, looking over the car one more time. Gonna get ready to suit up here pretty soon. Probably right around dusk. Dark. You know when the anyway when the lights come on. That's probably about when we're ready to go. I think the car is ready. Final burnout. I've been through everything a few times. I just want to do it right. You know what I mean. So a little bit of pressure, but I know you guys in the end really don't care if we place or not. It's just going out there and just letting her rip. Definitely going to do that. Also still reading a bunch of comments from you guys on the previous video, what we should do with this, if we should repower it, repurpose it. It's not going away. We just need to stop using it in the burnout pit. Can't be a drag car. Uh, it's just too unsafe. And uh, to the point in my life, I'd like to hang around a little bit longer. If I was a little bit shorter in the tooth, I really wouldn't care much. But. Give me some ideas. Bleep loop it down there in the comment box. Ooh, nice catch. Bentley's out here playing ball. Made some friends. So fun at these events. Making new friends.
got stuck against the wall, there's really nothing you can do. Most people just send it like that until you pop the tires because you lose points if you get nosed in. The guy got second in Bristol, he did really good there. The truck revs a little bit, you know. This thing an entire tire. Pushing on the front tires, or the front tires are locked, but you can't steer when they're skidding. So everyone's just kind of pushing around. But they're doing it right. The high horsepower cars are going last. The, the pros, which we're not, we're not in that. You know, this will be no problem for them because they don't really move. They have so much wheel speed. But we'll just have to pay attention to that when we come in. I know I need to go to the end on my tip in. But I'm nervous to wad the car up again, so I'm contemplating tipping early, but 52% of my brain says full sand, tip it all the way in, because no one's done it yet. I don't know. It's got to think on it, I think. So a fan stopped by the booth, grabbed an independent shirt, and he said, I want this signed by independence. And I said, what do you mean? He said, when you're in the chute, getting ready to go in, put that shirt in front of the rear tire on independence, and I want a burnout across this shirt. Final signature. So that's what we're gonna do. Bradley's gonna help me. Getting ready. Uh, Rivals is right now. I'm third or fourth in line, getting suited up. We're gonna install some heats in the engine, check all the gauges, see what we can do for you guys. Well, fellers, we're fourth line. Moved independence up, no power steering. So, something in the gearbox, lines, reservoir, I'm not sure, but we have absolutely no power steering so that's going to change things it is tight in there it's like trying to do a cookie in a three-car garage but we're still going to go i'm just going to have to really be muscling this wheel focusing more on that unfortunately but we're not going to let it stop us from sending her off so you boys excited yeah ready brad
Good morning. Bright and early the next day. We're getting set up for 2.4 hours of La Mullets here. Tony Angelo is going to be coming in pretty soon. We can go find the Crown Vic. But real quick first, wanted to give you some behind the scenes here. Late last night after the burnout competition, some of the cars got put under the awning here. Some are scattered throughout. There's broken stuff everywhere. But we'll walk through here quick. Look at Killer B. We got Cletus's Camara. And then the Chevelle, I can show you a little bit more in the daylight what happened there, actually. So here's Killa B. And unfortunately, last night, the engine popped. It uh, put out a big fireball, and I guess there's chunks of block on the track as well. I don't want to touch the hood or anything like that, but that's really unfortunate for those guys. But I'm sure they'll figure something out. Taking notes on this, like all inset this that they narrow the axles up. I just I don't know, I gotta pay attention to that. Of course this bad boy put on a nice skid. I think he got fourth. Something like that. Kept her off the wall, had a nice run. And then we got independence back here. I just tucked this under, try to keep it out of the rain. Still got quite a bit, but that's alright, so. Here's what happened. The new power steering pump that went in, the pulley came off and wrapped up everything. So through the pro charger, through the charger whirler, basically stripped the front. So we were doing the run with no power steering, no charging and no boost, which made the tune really fat, which is why it was gargly and breaking up. Uh, I was fouling the spark plug. So it's trying to muscle the wheel clear it out, keep the tires sterning, and keep it off the wall. It was a fun night. 0.5 points away from first place, but we did bring home second place last night at the final burnout with the Independent Chevelle. I'm happy with that. It was a great show. Like I've said before, we're not here to get trophies. It's, it means more to me than that. Just showing up and doing it and having fun getting other people motivated. The open class is getting so big now. It's really great to see. They just opened the gate. We're gonna go check the track out, start getting set up. Here's the aftermath of the burnout competition. Kind of was at an angle, so I think it's hard to... This must have been that back shoot. Yeah, there was, there was us. The red and blue wheels pretty cool we're grabbing our trailer getting out of here and then these guys are going to start setting up a kidney bean not a full oval track he's going back to the kidney bean and it's supposed to rain today it's going to be really really interesting we're going to run rain or shine so last time some of the barrels full of water got hit turned some of the grass into mud and people started cutting corners and things like that but look at this change he actually added in a little bit of curbing. We'll see if it helps, but basically you come off here, we're gonna dip down and then go back up and around. Makes it a little bit more of a driver's game. You're not just winging circles, but it's gonna be a fun race. Gotta decide who's going first, who's going second, what the strategy is. I don't know. Here is the chariot. It's, you know, it ran in Bristol shortly. I think this was Robbie Gordon's. You see the Speed UTV, I think. And then it was uh, parked for a mechanical issue. I guess I didn't see it up there much. Looks like maybe shift linkage. And then we got another note here on the steering wheel. You got to jiggle on her a little bit in neutralis to get her to fire up. But it's, uh, we got the 327 rear end, not ideal. We're always hoping for the 352, but that's okay. It's an 08 unit. Tony, what do you think of this thing? I love it. I love it. I feel like it's gonna do well for us, and I think it's gonna hold together. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, look that's at the it. most important look thing. It. It's got remove, this is active arrow, been removed <laughs> there. In case anybody wants to drop change in here as we're going by, <laughs> like donations. Push bumper recently removed. They covered up the turn signals because uh, that way we won't use them. Oh, yeah. Smart. Not 
to confuse anybody. Been bumped a little bit, but yeah, she's been around the block two or three times. Two or ten. We might want to duct tape this. Being it's going to be raining all day. Oh yeah. So all I think right. that. I think that will eventually get on our feet. Probably do something. But definitely an actual squad car. This isn't a oh, detective yeah. unit. This thing was. Yeah. It's seen some stuff. She was an interceptor. <laughs> yeah. All the light holes. I guess we'll just let this fall off <laughs> naturally. A little more active arrow, that's yeah. fine. There's quite a few reused cars from Bristol, um, which is cool to see. Makes it fun. Uh, some folks got here when it wasn't raining and got some painting in. Ours is already painted, it's red. It's got yep. the yellow, kind of McDonald's ish, but I don't know. Do you want to do anything? or? I bought some stickers, but they're red. Oh. So it'd be tough to see them. Okay. I might put them on the glass in the back. Do you want to do, we can maybe paint a hood? Yeah. You want to paint the hood? I'm down. We, yeah. We'll try to figure out, maybe we can uh, sneak it under the middle tent or in the yeah, shop. Yeah. I'd like to get on the track too at some point. Oh yeah. Tony's going to go practice and get some laps down. Actually really smart to do when it's raining out because I think that's our forecast for the rest of the day. So we just the concrete down there is like glass. So. It's gonna be fun to watch, I bet. It's gonna be fun to drive. It's gonna be pretty interesting. <laughs> Derek, what are we doing? I don't know. What did you do here? Uh, I mean, <laughs> we wanted a jet float course at some point. This is pretty close to it. So we're running some practice for some folks that haven't been on the track yet. <clears throat> in the kidney bean shape or here at all. It's rain or shine racing. This is gonna be really interesting. This is gonna be fun for you guys to watch. This is gonna be a blast. Well, the weather is, uh, I should have brought more sunscreen to Florida, you know? Uh, it is rain, it's raining, cats yeah, it's a kittens. All things at six, and the good news is, it's only raining very heavily in one spot in Florida at six. And that's, uh, right there. This is the happy center, that's fine. And then it's gonna rain, but the good news is, after qualifying it rains <clears throat> so that's fine here's what i discovered on the car did a little bit of investigatory work we have a z5 axle unfortunately that's an open differential that's fine that's what you want when you need traction so uh everything's fine with this Let's test the wipers. Maybe we got wipers. That would be nice. Well, we have wipers at least. They don't go fast. But it's got wipers. So that's good. For safety reasons, we have to race with the windows down. It's going to be interesting when you get past or passing people. Push. This is going to be a fly. I am so looking forward to this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Warming the transmission up. That's a demonstration of an open differential. Yep, perfect. Right there. <laughs> and this one's got two cylinders down right now. Yeah, well, is yeah, that a test car? Yeah. Hey, yeah. good luck today, man. Oh, yeah. Your car looks awesome. Look at this. Yeah, we finally got to really decorate one. Looks great. I'm yeah. just glad that we got you a new car. That thing was down 15 mile an hour on the whole fleet. Yeah. Is I it... don't know how you were competitive at Bristol. I just go to show driver. <laughs> well, thank you. I can't remember what I got, like fourth or fifth or something. You but... finished yeah. out of a lot of people that didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so he was saying that he was like testing them to yeah, see if this they is were. Our test pad. It starts right here. Yeah. I'll foot brake it all the way to the turn, and the car has to shift in a second and get 55 to 60 by that turn. Yeah. That's how I judge the health. Of the one I was racing did 40. 40. It didn't <laughs> even shift in a second. Wow. Oh, look at that thing. These guys are out here racing, I guess. What he was talking about was the 
the uh, black and white stripe car, the flag car for Bristol. We finished, the car wasn't even scratched. I mean, I think I drove a really clean race there, but remember how I was saying I was really down on power? Well, he said we're 15 miles an hour shorter than the other cars on the test and didn't even shift into second. So I don't know, we did pretty good, I guess. Today is not really going to be about speed. It's just going to be about not turning the car around, which is probably going to happen to anybody, but trying really hard not to turn the car around, not overdrive it, and uh, just survive. But there are a lot of people still showing up, toughing out the weather. This is going to be interesting. Tony suited and booted. Strategy. 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 Uh, Keep it together. <laughs> Have some fun. I don't know. Are we, we're we're going to qualify bad on purpose. I'm going with that plan. Okay. I got it. All right, man. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. So we definitely do some revenue racing. Those two guys race. Tony's buckling in, getting ready. Got the Hans on. I will say the start of this race is going to be exciting. Get pretty close. Just finished the national anthem. Look at some of these fast cars back Do there. Do com checks. Tony's good, got the comms. I got these race receivers in here so these can, we can hear the... They're good on that, yeah. So loud! <laughs> you want to turn down a little? Yeah, can I? Yeah. There. Tony is cool as a cucumber. I was joking earlier. He's probably going to be doing his taxes by lap five. Guys, he's, he's done a lot of racing. Never done the circuit track stuff, but... This isn't really going to be circle tracking. It's going to be sliding. So I think he's going to put me in a good position. And uh, hopefully I can finish it. Got some pressures on a guy. We're going to do a vehicle inspection. Let's see what we got for some wheels. What up? <laughs> we were battling out there. Yeah, you're doing some wheeling, man. Yeah. So, yeah, I can tell it's got, it's got no power. We got a lot of speed in the middle. I was okay. waiting on everybody the whole time. That's that rear gear. Like, yeah. It's a, not until you probably get to the flag stand. No, I mean like in the mid, in the small turn. Oh, here. We're, okay. I got a lot of corner speed. Okay. But leaving here, they're just everyone's like later. I don't know if the trans is slipping. If, if don't put it in one and then two. When you get it settled in two, leave it alone. Because it will, if you pop it from one to two, it won't go. That's that one lap where everybody's like, the restart. Oh, I wondered. It wouldn't when come out of first gear. I put it in two and it didn't do anything. So you kind of have to like go up to drive and kind of, you know our shifter's wonky? Yeah. Put it up to D and then like kind of pull it back down to two and it'll go in second. That's great. It's, it's a, she's a chariot boy. <laughs> we had some fun. We had some fun out there. Oh my god. That's all that matters is you had fun. Oh my god. I don't, yeah. I got to pass a bunch of people. At one point they yelled at me and put me in the back of the pack. I pit maneuvered that. He hit me back. He spun me on the bank. You can't even tell, man. It's brand new. He's fresh. It's hot in the car. 
You don't need that. When I hit that last one, I turned the car off. That's extra. You don't need that. <laughs> So I'm getting ready here. Tony's moving the seat back. They're on sliders, which is nice. But he's going to move it all the way back for me. I got comms on. Just got to throw the belt on. Transmission is junk. Doesn't shift. There's no motor. Uh, Tony says we could pass in one turn. And I trust him. So that's great, because there's only like six or whatever. So, new goal. Not winning the Camaro, but we're going to finish the race. And I'll be good with that, I think. Tony had a lot of fun, which is really important. Everybody else is in their car. Huh? Everybody else is in their car. Oh, good. We're also really late. Tried like half, dude. We Second tried. place till turn four. Uh, yeah. Oh. Somebody with a fishing pole basically tried to rip the rear of the car off, threw me off my line. I decided to just try to mud bog it. I thought it's smart. I was like, it'll work. Instead of try to, you know, it didn't work. It was way too deep. Yeah. So at least I got to blow it up. I just held it. I just went down. Got so, to so went. <laughs> nice. But I'm glad Ty and Zach got that thing. Cause they worked their butts off to make this. They put all the cages in. Is that right? Yeah, seats and the bottles. Oh and man, it was fun though. It got so slick out here in the grass. Literally, you come around that corner, you let go of the wheel and just let it recenter. Cause you're just you're on ice the whole way around. But just what? I had this is I had a blast. Yeah. We gotta do this again. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we're coming back out. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolute yeah, dude, it was fun. He did a really good job actually not like destroying the car when you have to switch cars and then you take over it sucks because yeah. all the leftover like horrible cars so at least we got the finish with the car we started with. yeah so, i didn't use the nitrous that much either well, i was you were on i was yeah on. i tried to conserve it i was on i appreciate that yeah but actually 
this one jumped pretty good on the nitrous. A lot of them, oh, I can feel it for sure. Did never really. They just go. Bleh. This one actually. Oh, you can feel it. Oh, yeah. oh, kick. Yeah. Oh, kick down the straight for sure. Uh, you want to walk around and check these things out? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's a good thing. We can see how buried this.